Well, students returned back to campus for the first day of class at Fresno City College today. Action News anchor Brittany Jacobs spoke to the new president about his plan for the academic year and the latest on enrollment. It's a sight to see. Students are back on campus. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's the first day of classes at Fresno City College and students are excited to be with their fellow classmates in person. When COVID came, everything was like sad right here, but now it's beautiful. Nice to see all those people. On Monday, there were food trucks, welcome signs, and even information booths to help students navigate their first week. While there are many classes online just last semester, this fall, the school is offering 63% of its classes in person and 37% online. While enrollment numbers have dropped nationwide, school officials tell me they are now seeing an increase in enrollment, nearly hitting the target enrollment goals. I caught up with Dr. Robert Pimentel, the new president of Fresno City College, and he tells me retention is his main focus. We often lose almost 50% uh, of our students from semester to semester, so we want to make sure that we keep our students engaged and we get them to that finish line because it's really important for us to, for them to finish. Dr. Pimentel is from the Valley, raised in Huron, and served at West Hills Community College District. He was formerly FCC's VP of Educational Services and Institutional Effectiveness. But I've been in Fresno my entire life, so it was a perfect fit for me to be to stay here. You know, I was here for four years, and I know the culture of the campus. So for me, it was important to continue the work that we've been doing. Dr. Pimentel says they will continue to implement measures to increase numbers. Students can park for free in the Mark Student parking lots. Plus, the parking structure at Blackstone and Weldon is almost complete. Free COVID-19 testing is still being offered on site for students and staff. To attend in-person classes, students are no longer required to have an exemption if they are not fully vaccinated, but they will have to be tested once a week. Now, if you're a student taking 12 or more units, then you have access to a $250 voucher for instructional supplies here in the bookstore. For more information on enrollment, you can visit this story on ABC30.com. At Fresno City College, Brittany Jacob, ABC30 Action News.